Hi everyone, Heather Liu here of Closet Core Patterns coming to talk to you about our pattern this month for Crew, which is our monthly sewing membership. You get a uh, pattern every single month when you join Crew, either at the monthly or annual level. And the pattern for June 2023 is the Azure Tear Dress. And we're all kind of obsessed with this pattern. Everybody in the office wants to make a million of them as we're heading into summer because it's such an easy breezy, beautiful cover girl style. Um, I really just feel prepared for the heat of summer in this gorgeous dress. So backstory for Azure is Celine, our pattern maker, had w been working on like a, basically a variation of this design, these asymmetrical kind of diagonal gathered tiers. And she'd actually um, drafted a dress for herself a few years ago and she really wanted to bring it back for crew this year. So we're really excited that we were able to do that for her. And you'll get to see Celine wearing her beautiful blue and white um, print Azure. She was pregnant when we were modeling uh, and when we did the photo shoot for Azure, so you'll get to see Celine wearing her dream dress. Um, unfortunately, that dress left with Celine on mat leave, so you're not going to be able to see it here. Uh, but it was a great dress, and the color of that um, fabric really inspired the name of Azure. We're thinking kind of this like Mediterranean, Europe, the kind of the dress that you want to want to want to bring to Europe when it's like hot and you want to just be easy breezy and not have anything like touching you. So Azure has a classic sleeveless darted bodice. I'm going to get a little bit closer so that you can see. We've got a slightly higher neckline. This is a jewel neckline. Obviously, we've got the sleeveless here. And this entire dress, I should ma uh, mention, can be finished. The bodice can either be finished with a facing, which we include, or it could be fully lined. So you would just double the bodice piece um, to line it, which is what we did with this uh, fabric because it was a little bit translucent. We actually had sewn the bodice with a facing and we could see the facing through it. We ended up re-sewing the bodice. So you have the option. Um, if you're wearing a sturdier fabric that isn't translucent, I would go with a facing. Um, if it's got a little bit of translucency or you just want a lining, you can also do that as well. And obviously we've got these darts uh, at the bust for shaping. We've got a little slot opening with a little delicate button. So this is a really great pattern for those you know that jar of buttons <laughs> that we all have in our sewing stash where you have like one or two buttons? This is the perfect prop project to use up like that one pretty button that you have. And then this is where things kind of get cool. So unlike a traditional, you know, sleeveless dress that would kind of end about here, we've got this really cool asymmetrical seam line. Actually, I'm doing it the wrong way. This way. I feel like Vanna White right now going down and then we have the second tier going down and then we have the third tier going down and I think the finished result is really cool. I've never seen a dress like this before. We're really, really proud of it. And because obviously of all the gathering, it's just such a beautiful dress to move around in. I think it's something that, let's see if I can like give you like a, a really strong movement. <laughs> um, I just think this dress moves beautifully. And so I'm wearing the maxi length dress if you don't like a maxi or if you don't have enough fabric, we also have a version that is around, ends above, just above the knee. So instead of having this kind of third asymmetrical panel, um, you, it's actually just going to have a straight hem here. And so this is a little bit lighter for whatever reason. If you want something that's a little bit shorter, we also have this. This is the main variation for this design. In terms of fabric for Azure, um, you can basically like a wide range of wovens are going to work. You want to have something, if you want something a little bit more structured. So right now I'm wearing a, uh, this is from a linen chambray that we have in stock in core fabrics. And so because it's linen, it's, you know, it's a little bit crisp and it has a little bit of structure. And so it, you know, it has a little bit of crispness, crispness and structure in the dress, which you can see here. But if you wanted to, and actually we also have this in an, another, this is a cotton poplin, in a print that we also have in stock from Core Fabrics. This is a Mary Mecco print. So this also works beautifully. We didn't sew any samples in any drapey fabrics, but I actually think this pattern would work really well in something like a tensile twill or maybe a viscose um, print. But if you were going to, if you're going to go drapey, I would definitely go with a lining as opposed to a facing because you're going to want that kind of additional stability in order to maintain the kind of structure of the top. So certainly excited to see uh, a drapey version if you want to do it. But basically, you're looking for light to midweight wovens are the way to go with this pattern. If you like any of the ones that you see here, the one I'm wearing, or any of our samples, we do have complete kits with core fabric. So it includes all the fabric that you need. One thing that I want to point out that is unusual about Azure 
is that because this is a bit of a fabric beast, okay, you can imagine how much fabric we're looking at right now. Uh, one of the things that we did so that it's not taking like eight yards of fabric is the entire pattern is cut on the cross grain. So this bodice that you're looking at right now, it's actually gonna be cut with the neckline parallel to the selvage, which is not uh, typical. And that way we were allowed to, we were able to get a lot more yardage and it was a much more efficient cutting layout and saving you the amount of fabric that you're gonna need. I'm just mentioning this because if you're using a border print or a directional print, like let's say a stripe, you wanna be conscious of the fact that all of these pieces are cut on the cross grain. So it's just something to think about if you have any kind of directional print, like I said. But otherwise, we were able to get this on a pretty reasonable amount of fabric, considering how much volume that we have. Azure is available in sizes 0 to 32, like all of our crew patterns. And once again, if you want to join crew, you can join at the monthly level, starting at just $10 US a month. You can cancel at any time. Or if you want to join at our annual unlimited level, you'll, not, you'll get not only Azure, but the other five patterns we've, been, we've already released this year as part of crew. So the sepia pants, the marigold sweater, the parchment jacket, really some of our favorite patterns we've designed really just exclusively for crew this year. We really hope you love uh, Azure and I can't wait to see what you make.